All right, sorry about that. Uh, we back with a part three, I guess. What was we talking about? We was just reading. What was you reading? We go ahead and get more of that if you want. It's a nice little scenery, though. And my homies, they've been over there chilling the whole time. First Peter 2. Yeah, back in 20, says, For what glory is it if when he be buffeted for your faults, he shall take it patiently? But if when you do well and suffer for it, you take it patiently, this is acceptable with God. And that's another thing that you say, don't, don't start, don't, don't, uh, don't uh, pretty much stay spiritual, don't, don't try to fight back, whatever. That's all another thing, don't try to start fights. You know what I'm saying? If you can avoid something, even outside of camp, don't try to, you know, purposely start a fight, just, you know, just being, just being a nigga. You can sit church says you got to suffer wrongfully. If you suffer for something that you did, what glory is that? Like, what glory is you? If you murdered somebody and you went to prison, you can't, you can't, what glory is that? That's, that's something that you did wrong. But if you yep. was teaching for the word, for the truth, for the truth, and you did nothing wrong and you got persecuted for that, then there's glory in that because you, because you innocent. That's too, you got to watch how you talk to the cops and shit too while you're out there teaching. You got to be smart. You can't be out there, uh, just start cussing out the cops. I mean, if the spirit gets on you, just cuss them out, but. <laughs> Cause sometimes, it, sometimes in the spirit you can't stop it. But you know, for the most part, because the Lord said you gotta learn how to agree with our adversary quickly. Yeah. To avoid problems. Yeah. You just you gotta agree, just like the Star, uh, Star Wars. Uh, these are not the droids you're looking for. Oh yeah. Remember we did that one day. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> so, yeah. Like, these are not the droids you're looking for. He said nice and politely. So, uh, yeah, you know the cops, they wait for you to do something stupid. Mm -hmm. Hey, the one time I got arrested teaching, actually, I was acting kind of wild. I ain't gonna lie. So that's what I got. If I was acting in my right state of mind, so actually, I, I cussed some cops out, though, that was fun. They deserved it. They deserved it, had it coming. But if I could I could have avoided getting arrested. I got like a. I had like a hundred twenty dollar ticket. I had to pay for that. You know, fuck all that. I just took money out of my pocket because I wanted to cuss out some cops. It's like they gonna, like they gonna, like what did that get accomplished? It made for a fire video. <laughs> that, see, people are gonna watch a video like that too. If I got a video of me cussing out the cops, I remember I put it up. It got thousands of views just like in the first day. Oh, everybody wanna watch that. But if I put up another video, you know, warning people about the microchip. Nobody watches that. If I put a video out going into the laws or anything, you might get 20 views. I, you know, I put up a video talking about, you know, keeping a certain law or something, I get 20 views. You put up a video of you cussing out the cops, you get thousands of views. i tell you how simple people is. They're just trying to be entertained, bro. It says, uh, it says, for... Even unto for here, it's like for even here on two where ye called because Yahweh Shai have uh, suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow his steps. Who did no sin, neither was Yahweh found in his mouth. See here, the Lord he didn't do no sin at all, but they still killed him. He still, you know, like he suffered for us. Oh, I got a precept for that one. <coughs> he says, "Who." When he was reviled, reviled not again. They said he was reviled. They looked at him like he was the villain. They like he was reviled. They, they, they thought the Lord was vile. This is when he suffered, he threatened not, but committed himself to him that... They said when he suffered, he threatened not. I just like when the Lord was on the cross. They said, if you really the son of the Most High, pull yourself off that cross. The Lord could have killed all them Romans right there. He could have killed Pontius Pilate. He could have just did a quick... Yeah, he could have did whatever. He could have killed everybody, but he didn't. Just like he healed the soldier, he put his ear back on him, bro. I mean, how do you how do you even do that? So you tell you he had power. They tell you he had superpowers, right? But you got people like Vocab Malone back to that bastard. Look, he look like Porky the Pig when you think about it, don't he? And the little jolly old cheeks, so. like dig it, dig it, dig it. <laughs> oh shit. What was I about to say, man? I just got that image in my head. What was I saying? About the Lord, uh... Oh, he had... They make fun of us because we said we're going to get power. But here it is. The Lord had actual power. 
He has superpowers. He rose from the dead. Is that not power? Didn't not Peter and them? Didn't Peter raise somebody from the dead? Didn't even Paul raise like died damn near? And no, Paul died. And came back. He got stoned. So, that's not power. They was healing people. You gonna tell me that's not superpower? Healing people. You know that's an actual superpower, like right? Marvel Comics. You guys, or you ever play role playing games? And you got your uh, your warrior, and then you got your uh, your uh, mage. Like on Final Fantasy, you got uh, what's your boy Vivi, the black ma he got the black dark magic. But then you always got like the bitch, like uh, you know she, she's usually like the healer. She got the healing magic. She got the healing power. You know what I mean? That's a superpower. Who who's a who, healer in the comic books? Who who got a superpower of healing? I know there's one of them. I can't think right now. You know, there's some X Men or somebody who got that power. I mean, uh, what's your boy? Can heal himself. Well, a Silver Surfer could heal people. Yeah. Who was it? Oh, Wolverine. Wolverine. Yeah, he can yeah. heal himself. Whatever. He got the healing factor. But that's an actual superpower. It's healing people. Yeah. And the, the apostles is healing people. That means they have superpowers. It's like the X Men, like real life X Men. I mean, if you believe in the Bible, you have to admit, yes, the apostles have superpowers, and that we are also going to get super. They just call it, they didn't call it superpower. That's a new term. But they call it what? The Holy Spirit. They got the, the Holy Spirit upon them. And we're going to get that power too. We're going to be, that's called superpower. So you're going to tell we don't get power? Let me get that. I'm going to type do a search on the word power. You know what I mean? We got the power. Oh. You got the might. You got the power. You don't know about that. I think that's how it goes. From Transformers the movie? Oh, trash. 1986? Oh, that's not trash. That could possibly be... That's, one, that's, that's in the top ten trash. best movies ever <laughs> created, bro. Yeah, we'll fight over that one. We're talking about fighting. So, <laughs> so if you watch it, that's some bad shit. What was I about to look up? Uh, what else I was going to look up? Uh, power. Let's see if we get on power. I know there's scriptures in the New Testament that talk about power, don't it? How he's gonna give us power? Uh, let me see. I can't think of the top. There's a bunch in Revelation. I can't read all them. It's too many. And the word power is in Revelation, left and right. I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna see some Paul's right. What is this? And have tasted the good word of God and the powers of the world to come. Oh, get that Hebrews, the sixth chapter. Let's see what the rest of that says. Six and what? Six and, six and five, somewhere around there. Let me see what the rest of that says. For if they fall away, to renew them again into repentance, seeing they crucified to themselves the Son of Man afresh and put him to an open shame. What was that? Is there more than that? Where is that? Hebrew? Yeah. What did I say to get? Six and five. Six and five? That's not, is it? Well, you read five, I read six. Oh, uh, read five. For, and have tasted the good works of God. What did it say above that? For it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted for the heavenly gift who were made partakers of the Holy Spirit and have tasted the good word of God and the powers of the world to come. Say, so we're going to have the powers of the world to come because the Lord going to give us power. He say he's going to give us a heart desire. Because it was also talking about people who fell out the truth. Mm -hmm. They tasted it, but they fell off. Y'all ain't going to get... Y'all going to get that uh, shame. I've seen another one, too. Moses, uh, the spirit of Albert Shoshana, he the uh, Red Sea. That's like, you can think of, like, an uh, Avatar Last Airbender. Motherfuckers digging uh, water bin and shit. They did that, too. Uh, they healed, uh, what's her name, Katara? She was healed. She used to have the little water. She could heal people with the water and shit. We're in this, yeah, shit. That's the spirit. Remember, uh, the, uh, it was somebody in the Bible that he taped, uh, one of the prophets. I think it was Elisha. He told him, go to the water, dip yourself in there for like seven times or something like that. Yeah. And he got healed. He had leprosy. And so, hey, so the Lord can use water to heal you. With, hey, he can use whatever to heal you. Yeah, because that's a lot of leprosy. You get clean it seven days, and if it's still not clean. Yeah. Hey, that works in real life, too. You know, pretty much, athlete's foot, that's like a form of leprosy. You don't clean your feet, it's going to get worse. That's right. You know what I mean? Man, this is like a bad spot to stay. Look at this. Uh, 
with his head. Where'd it go? Oh, 2 Timothy 1 and 7. For the Most High has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power yes, and of love. Yeah. And of a sound mind. Yeah. <laughs> that English word love is trash. Yeah. You can't even say that word. You know what I mean? I'm cringing. Yeah, you get crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got the love of God, baby. You know what I'm saying? I bet there's more scriptures. I'm trying to see if I can find it. Who's that one to say you going to bruise a nigga's head? I mean, head. Uh, you going to step on Satan's head or something like that? What is it? Are you going to step on Satan's head or the serpent's head or something? Oh, like yeah. I forgot how it went. I know it said it twice. I know one is was in Genesis and the other one was in the gospel. Yeah, you're talking about how the Satan oh. bruises, bruises his heel or something? Oh, no, no. I'm thinking, he's, I'm thinking maybe he's, I think he said you want to tread, tread uh, serpents. Let's see. Luke 10 and, and I'm 18 says, And I said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. That's talking about Barack, Barack Obama. Looking ass. <laughs> Remember, that's, that's no, how don't even talk about it. <laughs> that makes my, that's brain cancer. Yeah. Fuck. Oh, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's cancerous. Yeah. Uh, they violent with that one. That shit old, man. Barack gone. Yeah. Now we got Trump now. I guess he's the new Antichrist. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Barack Obama, you can make a comeback, though. You win. That, that motherfucker's crazy. Them motherfuckers are crazy. Dumbass doctrines, man. It's, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all that. Oh, shit, we got power to tread on serpents and scorpions. Hey, where, which one was that? The 10th. Ooh. Right. So you're going to give us power to tread on... That's really talking about our enemies, actually, is what it's talking about. Yeah. And literally, too, because remember, Paul... Got bit by a serpent. He just shake that bit. It was Paul or Peter. I forgot. I think yeah, it, was it was Paul. Got bit. Yeah. He just shake that bitch off. He just shook it. Like, yeah, I'm good. Let's go. Let's yeah. do this. So, and there was amazed. People was amazed. That spiritual power. That's a healing fact. That's X Men mutant like powers. X Men. <laughs> that's an inside joke. You don't know about that. <laughs> X Men mutant like powers. <laughs> so, ah oh, shit. There's a beautiful fucking look at that. There's a bluebird, bro. I'm easily distracted. Wow, he's back there. Oh, I see. Let me get him on camera. I'll go ahead. It says, and, all, and, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall be any man's hurt you. you uh, yeah, that's pretty much it right there. What did it say? I'm sorry. I was trying to find that bird. It says, and all the power of the enemy over the enemy, and nothing shall be any man's hurt you. He's like, hey, somebody gonna bite, shoot you. I'm up with a bullet, don't even, don't even uh, go through. Oh, he go. Yeah, that's superpowers though, ain't it? Yeah. yeah, I can't, it's hard to zoom in on him. That's pretty sweet though. That's an amazement of the Lord, the Lord's creation. He make all these different birds and shit. Man, these birds, oh, let me, he's out there. That's just a, I get amazed at shit like that. A blue bird, bro, you ever see a fucking Oreo before? Uh, orange ass bird? How like how did the bird get orange? You see him? Where'd he go? You son of a bitch! I can't get him. Oh, he gone. It's, it's too hard. It's too hard to get. It. That screen's too small. I can't see. What are you talking about super? I want to sit down there for a minute. The uh, power. Because, yeah, if you look at it, the, the apostles, if you can get bit by a poisonous snake and nothing happens to you, that means you got some kind of powers. That's a superpower. It's like Lo uh, Logan. What's his name? Wolverine. He's a superhero. Oh, Deadpool got the healing factor, too. He's a superhero. You know what I'm saying? They're in superhero comic books. Cause really the original superhero book was the was the Bible. Shit, and even Jack Kirby said that. Y'all watch some Jack Kirby interviews on YouTube. They got some. It's like audio only, most of them. But he got a couple. Of, he said he went when did they get for ideas. He said he went to the Bible. I remember I was listening to one interview. He said you know one of the first superheroes was Samson. Samson, that's superpowers. 
So if you don't believe that we're going to have superpowers, that means you don't even believe in the Bible. That means you, you lack, you got no faith. They don't, they don't believe that shit can be real. It's like, oh, that's bullshit. That's not real. Then you're saying the Bible's not real. I guess it's not possible for the Lord to split the Red Sea then. You know what I mean? I guess that didn't happen. That's, that's too, that's too far-fetched. That's too unbelievable. I guess Moses could, and Aaron couldn't turn, turn their uh, staves into snakes. How'd they do that? That's some bullshit, ain't it? Of course, you know? Like Vocab Malone, he laughs at us when we say we're going to get superpowers. I guess, you did you laugh at Moses when he turned his staff into a snake? What, what else some crazy stuff happened in the Bible? With people healing people, raising from the dead, the Lord turned water into wine. Oh, he walked on water. Peter walked on the water with him for a minute until his faith started to wane. <laughs> so you people that, say, that don't believe, you make fun of us because we say we're going to get superpowers. You're going to see, man. We're going to laugh at you. <laughs> He's just be picking people up, taking them up, and just dropping them like <laughs> Wiley Coyote on your ass. Like, <coughs> Huh? What's your boy, uh, the evil Superman? Oh, uh, the, the Bizarro? Huh? The Bizarro <laughs> Superman? No, nah, the movie. The movie oh. it just came out a couple, like a year ago or whatever. But, uh, I ain't seen them the all the movies. Hey, remember you said it, you said it. Yeah. Which one? Oh, you talking movie. about Brightburn. Yeah, he, took, oh, he yeah. took his mom up there. That was the best scene ever. He took oh, yeah, he took it and just dropped it. Yeah, her. that's, whoa, wait, you know what I'm saying? And we gonna be doing that to people. Yeah. Hey, just sit back in the ancient world in 1 Chronicles uh, 25 and 11. No, 2 Chronicles. When King Amaziah, they was throwing Edomites off a cliff. 10,000 Edomites they threw off a cliff. 10,000. They threw 10,000 Edomites. So what's just a couple fly up, drop them. Trash. <laughs> yeah. Drop it like it's hot. Yeah. This is uh, Sir, uh, Zechariah 13 and, uh, I mean, 12 and... Uh, uh, 12 and 8. Yeah, it says, uh, damn, what the hell? Oh, uh, yeah, 8 it says, In that day shall you have a defender and have attention to Jerusalem. And he that is feeble among them at that day shall be as David, and the house of David shall be as God. Oh, fire. You're gonna, yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. And the house of David as, as, as shall be as God, as the angel of Yahweh before them. Hey. And we're going to be as gods. And hey, the Lord said we are gods. Oh, what's what's a what's a, uh, an adjective for the word? I said an adjective. A cinnamon. Like, you know, you look up the word God in Hebrew. Like in John 10, 34, he said, ye are gods. And he's quoting Psalms, what, 82? Where it said we're gods. What's the Hebrew word for God? Is Allah, right? When you look up the definitions of it, it says, what, God? Singular, it could be talking about the most high. And another word for it is power. It literally means power. You know what I mean? Because we're gods. That we're literally we, we're gonna be given power. Giving them superpowers. People can't get it, man. They don't believe it. You lack of faith, my son. Okay, well, one scripture says the angel moved as lightning. Ezekiel one. Yeah, we with them angels, they got power, don't they? And those are our brothers. They just got them celestial bodies. You see, the Pentagon just came out with all this new, uh, this UFO footage. There's all kind of massive UFO sightings been going on. And people get bugged out when they see them. I seen that one video. Uh, we was just talking about that when the, uh, you know, the Pentagon footage, and they said the UFOs was flying against like 200 mile per hour wind, no problem. They, you know, it was, they was making impossible maneuvers. And only gods can fly around like that. You know what I mean? Ain't no mortal human can do that. And like we said, them angels, that's our brothers. They, they, the angels are actually Israelites. People would dispute that. Oh, the angels ain't Israelites. The angels are Israelites. Revelation. You know, that brother, the prophets. Well, I could get it. Airbender, that shit fire. What is it? Avatar's Airbender. Oh, the, Air, the movie or the cartoon? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The movie trash. Yeah. Hey, I ain't seen it. Yeah, trash. I used to, yeah, the cartoon's fire. I used to watch it. They, 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 you know what I'm saying? Control all elements. That's, 
is gonna happen. Little oh, that'd be control. sick too. You get that yeah. the mm -hmm. earth powers and the yeah. the water, the fire powers. Mm -hmm. And they believe in reincarnation, that bitch too. Then when he do turns into turns into the Avatar state, it's like all of his past lives and shit, whatever comes into one. And you know reincarnation. You know why we know reincarnation is real? Because in your spirit, you know it's real. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And you just feel it in the spirit of what's real and what's not so real, man. What was it say? Uh, oh shit, Revelation 22. 22 and what, 8 or something? And uh, Revelation 22 and 8. And I, John, saw these things and heard them. And when I heard and seen, I fell down and worshiped before the feet of the angel which showed me these things. Then he said unto me, See, Thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren the prophets, and of them which keep the sayings of this book, worship the Most High. So he said, I'm your fellow servant, and of your brethren the prophets. So he said he's the brethren of the prophets who are Israelites, and those that keep the sayings of this book. Hey, who keeps the sayings of this book? That's who you know who the real Israelites is. Who else is that that's keeping the sayings of this book? That's us. We the Israelites. Who else is out here... Actually on the streets teaching the people like you was commanded, the Israelites. That's how you know who the real Israelites are. We keep the sayings of this book. Esau ain't keeping the sayings of this book. Esau despises this book. Ooh. And it said, uh, the scribe's angel said his skin was, you know, what was it? I think it was Ezekiel that said his skin was pretty much brown skin, you know, so that tells you that that's that there's lights as well. There's another one too where it said uh but the angels they because yeah, the angels say it's dark skin. The most high is dark skin. They tell you that in the book of Daniel. They all let me get that. And it said with the one angel that Daniel was talking to he says this his uh, face was as lightning. Yeah, because he, he described him as being blue, too, or something. What's that color? Was it topaz? Or? Oh, oh, yeah. Not topaz. It, uh, it was like a white. Not like, topaz. It was a... I forgot the color. I think it was like a brown color. It? it was a... Well, that's from different books, I think. I'm thinking of a... I'd have to look it up. I'm thinking of a different color. I can't remember. What, Daniel 10? My... I can't remember. We made a video on one day. We was looking the words up and stuff. Yeah. I'd have to go back through it and look at all them angel scriptures. Marie even said, I talking about how angel, how big it was, too. Where's that at? Isn't it either Ezekiel or Daniel? What's that about to look up? I done forgot already. Something about uh, Daniel. Oh, angel. yeah. To prove that. Oh, because this even talks about the chariots, too, in the scripture. Uh, Daniel 7 and 9. I beheld to the thrones were cast down at the ancient of days that sit, whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. The throne was like the fiery flame, and his wheels is a burning fire. All his wheels is a burning fire. That's talking about his chariot, the Lord's chariot right there. You know what I mean? So that proves that who? That whoever flies around in the, the UFOs, they look like a so-called black man. They got woolly hair. It says his hair is like the pure wool. And it say the same thing in Revelation about the Messiah. It say he had woolly hair also. Why did this, you know, talking about he got woolly hair? Is it, you see white people, they try to get out of that. Oh, uh, woolly. Maybe white like wool. Was that a fish? Yeah. He try, he trying to get in on this thing. Sorry. He just popped his little head up out of there like, yes. but you could grab him. Would you eat one of them fish? I don't know what the fuck kind of fish that is. Oh, you fish! I don't want this thing. You fish in a minute. I know you got most of these people. They go out. They fish for catfish. That's the most popular thing to fish for. Catfish. And they actually eat that shit, man. And that's against the scriptures. You know what I mean? But look, I be held. Be, uh, I be held then because of the voice of the. Actually, what am I doing? I be held to the thrones were cast down to the ancient of days to sit, whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. So that proof right there, you know, the Lord and the angels, they so-called black men. And it said they have the brother and the servants of the prophets. So the angels are the brothers of the prophets, if they're Israelites, we already, 
we can prove who the Israelites are, and what they look like. That proves that the Israelites, uh, the angels, is black. back again because hey we was a little willing those angels when uh we say uh, uh angels were rejoicing before the lord in the book of job it says the sons of god rejoice yeah. it let's get that yeah. you know where that's at it's in job just job type in sons of god i got it yeah. no it says the sons of the morning or sons of the morning don't it yeah. sons. i think it says sons of god too i think Does it? i know that's fucking it's... autocorrect What's his name? Uh, yeah, that's why Yahweh Shah said, return the glory unto me that I had from the beginning. You know what I'm saying? So we, this is what we praying too. We be praying that we get that glory too because we, we, we used to have heavenly bodies and now we, angels became flesh. And this trash ass flesh right here. We, we praying. Because the earth was created for us. And we, we existed before the earth was even created. Goodness. I get it, Job 38. Probably better just get it. What's this battery looking like? What time is it? Josh, I'm gonna wrap it up after this one. Yeah. This is a Job 38 what? I'm gonna go to fucking work. Start it. This is 38 and what? Uh, somewhere. Start at, start at the top. You. I mean, because it's right, it's a seven, but, oh, yeah, but just wanted to get some more context, you know what I mean? So did Yahweh answer Job out of the whirlwind and said, See, that's the key, is we got to say that. Yeah. Then Job, what's the whirlwind? That's them chariots. He said he answered Job out of the whirlwind. What is that talking about? See, this is all through the Bible. Mm -hmm. This is in the book of Job. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He said he answered him out of the whirlwind. Just like he came to Ezekiel out of the what? Out of the chariot. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Go ahead. Who is this that darkened the counsel by words without knowledge? Gird up now that loins like a man, for I would demand thee and answer thy <laughs> meaning. Gird up now that loins, well, that's a popular saying in Israel. Mm -hmm. You know, when somebody's acting like a bitch or whatever, like, gird up that loins like a man. Act like a man. Act like you got a pair. Yeah, you know, it's party because they take hold of your nuts. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> like, you know, uh, uh, what do you say? Damn, I forgot the other saying. It's like, steal your nerve or something. Y'all know, it sounds all perfect. Uh, what do call it? Uh, poetic and shit. Yeah. It's still, still your nerve. That, that, that show was good as fuck. That's why I, I stopped watching. I gotta watch that. That shit fire. I'm trying to tell you. I remember that main actor died like halfway through the series. Yeah, first season. Yeah. The dude did good though. The other dude yeah. did replace him. At first I was like, man, what the fuck is this? I know, I, I got, like, I was, yeah, yeah, oh, he died. I looked it up. I was like, damn. Yeah. He fucking died. God damn. Yeah, the dude did a good job though. He did a good job. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, it says, uh, we're on four. Uh, so I got to skip a lot. Goddamn. So where where uh, where was thou when I laid the foundation of the earth? Declare that thou hast understanding. Who have laid? Yeah. It? So you saw that to the Esau. Like, hey, where's you at, bitch? He talking about Esau. <laughs> talking about he can make a. He knows how the sun works. You know, say so he he knows exactly how the universe was created. Most, but bitch, where was you at when? It, read that again. He's like, where was you at? Where was thou when? What? laid the foundation of the earth. Yeah, where was you when the most I laid the foundation of the earth? You wasn't there. Yeah. yeah. Hey, through the spirit, hopefully we was one of them angels, you know what I'm saying? That, oh, that yeah, well, I'm talking about, you know, the wicked, though. Yeah. 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 But, you know, but, yeah, but like, like, we hopefully was the one of the angels that, uh, because it said, uh, the gods created the heaven and earth. You know what oh, I'm yeah. We trying to, that we was us. The yeah. Lord and us. We were trying to get back into that glory. Because that, that, that's power. You ever, you ever create shit out of nothing? To the spirit of power, Yahweh Shemesh. Hey, that's power right there. You know what I'm saying? It says, uh, wherefore, I mean, who was, damn, I keep skipping the whole chapter, I mean, the whole verse. It says, who have laid the measures thereof, if thou knowest, who have stretched out line upon it, whereupon are the foundations thereof fastened, who have laid the cornerstone thereof, 
when the morning stars sang together and all the sons of God shouted for joy. Yeah, when the morning stars, that's us, the sons of, oh, we're the sons of God. Even the word Israel means son of God, or it means he's a prince of the Most High. A prince is the son of a king. In uh, Romans 8, we're called the sons of God. Let me look that up. Actually, I just did. I got one for you. We're the sons of God. This is proof. It's in the New Testament and Old Testament. Beloved, now we are the sons of God, and it does not appear what we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear, where again? Where's he going to appear out of? Where's he going to appear from? Back to the chariots. He's going, he's going to appear out of the heavens. Oh. Sorry. Oh. Yes, sir. Bruh. Yeah. No. <laughs> yes. I don't mean yes, no. Sir. I mean yeah. You got bro, this scripture right. That's the spirit. I ain't playing this. Look, beloved. Now we are the sons of God, and it does not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when He shall appear, we shall be like Him. Oh. For Lord. we shall see Him as He is. Have mercy. Whoo. Goddamn. Fire. So I didn't even play that one, bro. Fire. It's like we shall be like Him. Fire. He gonna appear out the heavens, out the chariots. We are gonna fire. be like Him. Shit, that's fire. That was a fire scripture right there. Damn, I, I, man, I, I, I'm gonna read it again. I gotta read the first verse. Actually, that's from the book of First John. You can read that front to back. I'm gonna read uh, three and one. Behold, what manner of love the Father has bestowed on us, that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore, the world knoweth us not, because it knew Him not. Yes, sir. See. The reason the, the people don't accept what we teach is because the, the Lord ain't accept this. Rats and roaches, bro. I mean, that's pretty much, I can just stop it on that one right there. I mean, that's a fire screen. I'm going to read that one more time. Three and two. Somebody pop it. Oh, you have some? Yeah, I just want to. Yeah. I'll go ahead. I'm going to read it one more time. Beloved, now... Are we the sons of God, and it does not appear what we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Ooh, that's fire. Yeah. We're going to be like him. We're going to be changed. Sorry. That's some, there's other scriptures on that, about how we're going to be in the twinkle of an eye. We're going to be changed. Just real quick, Psalm 17 and 15. As for me, I will behold thy face in righteousness. I shall be satisfied when I awake with thy likeness. Ooh, yes, sir. which one was that? Psalm 17. He said, he said, I'll be, uh, yeah. be satisfied with that likeness. Yeah, when I, I shall be satisfied when I wake, when I uh, shall be in that likeness. Oh, okay, that. like that likeness. Oh, yeah. we, was named, we was made after the image of the gods, yeah, yeah. plural. Yeah. After the image he created them, after their image. Mm -hmm. What image? That's the gods. Mm -hmm. So we was made, we was made in the Im oh. We made in the image of the gods. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's talking about the the Allahim, the the angels, right? So we made after their image because they, they look like us. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And the angels are dark skinned people. Oh, they gonna be like, oh, you you a white devil? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, look, yeah, I already see that one comment. Or then you got them other assholes on bit. You got on bit shoot. You got another strange thing. You got the. The people they believe the Israelites is only white people. Mm -hmm. Oh, them motherfuckers is all over Bitchute. Some assholes. Well, fuck, you go on the homepage of Bitchute. It's all about videos of getting to know Hitler. Oh, Hitler was actually a nice guy. Mm -hmm. You know, you know them type of videos. Sorry. It's all, ant but that's good too, though. It's a lot of anti-Jew, but they're not the real Jews. People will watch our videos and they'll see us talking, you know what I mean, reading the Bible. And they'll, they'll think that we're on the side of the fake Jews or something. Y'all are slow, man. Baka. What's that? Idiot in Japanese. Baka? Yeah, What'd you say? Yeah, Baka. Baka? Yeah. What well, isn't that the Aramaic word or something? Uh, in the scripture, Raka. Yeah. I wonder if that's related. Yeah. Raka, Baka. Baka. Raka. <laughs> That's just funny. Your pathiums. Your pathiums. Yeah. Your yeah uh, what's the other word? Casoliums. Casoliums. Casoli. I made it double plural. Casoliums. 
saw you. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah. What's the other one? Uh, was it Awa Yaw? Sure. Like Awa Yaw Yums? Shayum. Huh? Shayum. What's that one? Ain't that wicked? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, you said, uh, yeah, Russia. Yeah. Rashayum. Yeah, that's the wicked. Yeah, put Pathium, Rashayum. Wah. Casolium's. Wah. I would go. Yeah. Shit, fuck that. <laughs> uh, hey, hey, the closest word to that in the Hebrew is Nakash. That means serpent. Yeah. Actually, did you ever watch your boy Bobby Hemet? Nope. Your boy Bobby Hemet, he get up there talking like this, boy. He be like, well, let me tell you something right. <laughs> boy, look up, Bobby. Don't actually do not. I mean, do what you want. I'm sorry. If you dare. Yeah, if you dare. If you, yeah. if you want a good laugh, get you a drink, watch some Bobby Hemet videos. But he used to do this thing. There might be a bit of truth what he said. But he tried to say that the origin of the word nigga comes from the Bible and it comes from the word nakash, which is serpent. But he'll try to say it means a good thing by all, oh, because he, he said the serpent was the good guy in the Bible. And he gave us knowledge and wisdom. And that's why they call us that, because we got the wisdom like the serpent. <laughs> yeah, you can call people nakash though. That means they a serpent. Nakash. It also means enchantment in Hebrew. Yeah. Oh, we about to get up out of here, though. So I got to go back to fucking work. So it's pretty gay. Yeah. That was trash. I was trying to hit that tree. I was way off. Damn. You got any last words or anything? What time is it? No, it's past 5.30. We've been out here for a couple hours. No last words, salutations. Hey, Shalom. say Shalom. Hey, just the time, because here come Esau. He about, what you guys doing out here? We got to keep the camera on for our own safety. Hey, Esau going to come back here. Oh, you're not social distancing. I've already reported you. They're on their way right now. We'll show you. Let me see your identification. <laughs> under citizen's arrest. Yeah, under citizen's arrest. <laughs> Actually, we just do a little walk and talking on the way back. Yeah, it's the Karen. You seen the new Karen memes? Nope. I don't know who the hell that is. It's yeah. a new Karen meme. It's like how these dumb bitches go fucking call the cops on you with the quickness and they just freak out and bug out. Might as well keep the camera rolling. See, look, they chopped all these trees down, bro. I get mad. I mean, I forgot about it for now. See, it should piss you off. You know, I've been coming out here for years. That was part of the fun was walking through all the trees. Fuck, they cut half of them down. Whew. Also, you know they said they well, extended the, the lockdown to what, May 29th? Oh, yeah. Fuck that shit. Well, your job's still going, right? Yeah. I'm chilling. I ain't ready. They keep that shit locked down. What you got over here? Some more of that nasty. Yeah, we should look for mushrooms while we're out here. Might find some morels. Uh, you know how to find a... You go by some oak trees. Morels like to grow by uh, oak trees and elm trees. But every damn thing like to grow by oak trees, you know that? You can find an oak tree, that's where you're gonna find all the mushrooms. You have certain mushrooms that form like a, a parasitic relationship with the oak tree. I don't know if that's the right word for it. Yeah, man, you find an oak tree, bro. That's where you find all the good stuff. I don't even see no oak trees. What's that one? Oh shit, we're we gonna walk out here? Actually, I'm 
I kind of rather go this way. Uh, old trash shit out here. Look, they cleared this. That was all trees right there. All that you can see where they cut them all down. This was all trees. It's right up here. It, they wore his baseball diamonds. Look where they tore down the baseball diamonds. Like, damn, you can't have shit. They tore, this park is trash. It's not even a park no more. They used to have a basketball court. They tore that out. Remember I told you how on them cookout spots? They tore them out. You know, Jake was having too much fun. I'm about to turn this thing off, though. We'll see y'all later. We're going to say Shalom.